The last four meetings have been decided by four points or less. The one problem for the Rebels, Alabama has won them all. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz, glad to be with you here on the SEC Preview Show presented by Jack Link's Beef Jerky. Feed your wild sides. Number three, Alabama at 20th ranked Ole Miss. Let's bring in CBS Sports' Spencer Tillman to uh, break this down. And Spence, uh, these teams haven't really looked like they belong on the same field all season, but when you get towards what people thought at the beginning, this was the game that people pointed to that to say, hey, look, Ole Miss can make a statement here. They still have that opportunity. Well, yeah, it is a great opportunity for both ball clubs, and I think for Jevin Sneed and his Ole Miss Rebels, a chance to kind of redeem themselves because he's not looked like the quarterback with the advanced billing that he started this season out with. In the meantime, Greg McElroy, who we didn't know a great deal about, uh, is the star. I mean, it's an unbelievable uh, performance so far the, as we near the midway point of the 09 season, and I'm not so sure there's a quarterback that's achieved more uh, with a relatively less billing than, than has Greg McElroy. What has been the biggest problem for Ole Miss offensively? Because, uh, is it just Jevin Sneed and turnovers, or is there something else? No, I, you know, turnovers has been a problem, but they've taken terms over the years. If you remember, it's, it was McCluster last year who couldn't hang onto the ball. He's improved in that department, and then Jevin Steed started throwing interceptions. So you got problems there. One thing that's a saving grace for Ole Miss is their defense is playing exceptionally well. You know, last week against Vanderbilt, Vanderbilt didn't complete a pass, Jason, until like the third quarter, two minutes into that. And that's pretty special. And I think that's kind of an advance warning across the bow of Alabama that that perhaps is how they will choose to defend them. Uh, Alabama's got to establish their running game first. Uh, we know that they can pass the ball, too, but Ole Miss has got to make up their mind. They've got to pick their poison, which one they're going to stop. And I think they're going to attempt to shut down the run game first, but they're cognizant and confident of the fact that they can and possibly will stop the passing attack as they did against Vanderbilt. Now, not comparing Vandy's passing attack with Alabama. <laughs> I'm just simply saying they've got tremendous skill position players back there. Yeah, Vandy doesn't have a Julio Jones on the outside to make them right. worry as much. Right. They don't have a Mark Ingram in the backfield either, for that matter. Right. The running back for the Tide who has scored in eight of his last nine games. Defensively for Alabama, Spence, last week the first game they played uh, without Dante Hightower. Do you think yeah. they looked just as good as they did before? Boy, that's an excellent question. And again, maybe not in terms of flexibility, but if you've never watched Alabama play, you probably wouldn't pick up on this fact. I was doing my dead level best to find a weakness for this ball club, and they simply don't have one. If you could conscrew one as a weakness, it would be the fact that they were coming into last week's game against Kentucky, ranked 11th in the SEC in turnover margin. Well, they had three turnovers in that game, so that, that went right out the window for me. They're a complete team right now. They're about as complete as you'll ever find right now uh, in all of college football. And it's it's all because of Nick Saban, the way he's established this program. It has been impressive from top to bottom. This team has a very short memory. When anything bad happens, they forget about it real quickly, and they're able to progress and move on as a result of that very resilient group of young men. And, and we'll see if they can confuse Jevin Sneed and, and cause him to throw turnovers like Mike Hartline yeah. did uh, for Kentucky. Now, again, you didn't compare the uh, Vandy offense to the, to the Alabama <laughs> offense. I'm not comparing right. Jevin Sneed to Mike Hartline, but Alabama's right. defense is, is that good. Spence, it's a, it's a huge game, especially in the SEC. West where four teams are right there at the top Ole right. Miss and, and, and LSU and Auburn surprisingly and, and of course Alabama who do you like in this ball game? Well, listen, I, I like Alabama. They're the complete team. For all the reasons I just talked about a minute ago, I don't think anyone short of Florida could really stand up to them at this point in time. Uh, Crimson Tide is going to win this one by at least nine points. At least nine, despite the fact at that the last nine. four have been by four or fewer. This is a different team, a balanced team capable of striking on either side of the ball. All right, and that much better than Ole Miss, a team that was preseason top 10 but has already stumbled once this year at South Carolina. We'll see Saturday on CBS, and we'll see you, my friend, all day on CBS. We'll talk to you soon. All right, Jason. We'll see you, buddy. All right, folks, Alabama at Ole Miss kicks off at 3.30 p.m. Eastern. For more on this game, be sure to stay right here with CBSSports.com. That'll do it for the SEC preview show presented by Jack Link's Beef Jerky. Feed your wild side. For Spencer Tillman, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.